This is Mark Langton from the IET talking to James Jobling Purse about his recent experience of going down the world's deepest mine. Uh, the deepest mine in the world is the Imponeng uh, gold mine in South Africa. Um, and we've just done recently done some work down there and um, we're hoping to do some more work in some of the development drives uh, at 3.7 uh, kilometres down, which is actually the deepest point on Earth. Um, we, we basically went out uh, to South Africa um, six weeks ago um, to to view um, this this operation and uh, and get our head around the conditions in which we're going to have to be working in when we go down there um, to give you an idea about actually how difficult it is working in this type of environment. Um, the shift time um, for working personnel is only four hours, um, which basically means that. Uh, but the guys who, who go down there, it's, it's an hour and a half lift ride down um, and uh, the guys would expire if they worked beyond four, four hours so um, it's really really harsh um, and to give you an idea of, uh, of how the mine copes with this um, they've actually got one of the biggest snow machines in the world, if it isn't the biggest it's, it's certainly the second biggest snow machine in the world to try and cool the, the, the workings down um, and even then the, the, the operating temperature is uh, sort of 36 degrees centigrade um, which, is, which is very very hot especially if you're, if you're doing physical labour um, and uh, it was a, a real sort of eye-opener I think to, uh, to actually how harsh some of these uh, mines can be um, and the kind of guys and the respect for the guys who actually work down there um, we walked down this uh, decline, which is going down to the deepest point on Earth, and uh, Mike Harkham, the uh, the guy who was guiding us down there, um, basically pointed to a plaque on the wall that said, "You are now entering the deepest place on Earth," um, and uh, it was it was quite a surreal feeling, thinking that there's 3.7 kilometres of rock above you, um, and we uh, we were taken down um, a, a well ventilated decline. Um, which was still extremely hot, um, and then we turned off into um, some workings that that were uh, hadn't been ventilated yet. Um, and to give you an idea of, of how hot that actually was, um, the the water temperature coming into that section of the mine was 60 degrees centigrade. Um, so you're talking at conditions up in the high 40s, um, which is incredibly hostile. Um, you're drinking sort of five liters of water um, in a shift. Um, and uh, I mean the mine is alive. Um, the, the 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 weight of material pushing down actually causes rock bursts and seismic events underground, which can measure over three on the Richter scale. Um, so it, it it is quite a, uh, a surreal experience. And how long does it actually take you to get down from the surface to the face? It's it, it's an hour and a half, at least an hour and a half. Um, and the reason that, that, that it takes so long um, is the first lift um, will go down at about 16 metres a second um, and the, 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 the lift can only go down sort of, uh, two kilometres or so um, because of the size of the cables um, so you, you go down to a sort of uh, first section of the mine and then you've got to walk to another lift station which then takes you down further again and because there's sort of th thousands of people working in the mine um, you've got to queue up and wait your turn to actually go down to the to the different levels. Um, so the, when workers arrive on site, um, they actually clock in going into the changing rooms um, and then go underground and then clock out um, when they leave the changing rooms having left the mine. Um, so they're they're on site for approximately eight hours each time.